Hi guys and welcome to my house. My name is Sage for those of you who don't know me and this is my channel where I like to share with you things that I enjoy like cooking and organizing as well as a few things here and there about my rural mountain lifestyle. So come on in and let's see what we can get up to today. So today's video is a cheat meal and what I mean by cheat meal is something that's really quick and easy to do and looks like it took a long time to do it but it really wasn't. It's something that you can prepare really quickly, put in the oven um, and go on about your business. Go take a shower, go feed the dogs, go help the kids with the homework, whatever it is you got to do while you're, you know, while it's baking. So it is a cheat on chicken pot pie and I'm using some leftover chicken that I have that's called Oh My God Good Chicken. I have a, a recipe video for it already. Um, I'll leave a link down below if you haven't tried it. It's super good. Um, and we're going to be using this, some canned vegetables, puff pastry, flour, and egg wash, and I'm going to spray my corning ware. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by spraying my pan. You can use butter if you want to, but because this is a nice quick cheat meal, I'm just spraying. And then I have here my oh my god good chicken. So because this is already so thick, we don't have to make a roux like you would traditionally in a um, in chicken pot pie. This is already thickened. We're not going to try to thicken it. All I'm going to do is add some vegetables. Now here I have some canned vegetables because like I said, this is just a cheat meal. It's something to be quick and fast and get, get it on the table. Um, but it is actually better with um, sauteed vegetables. If you have fresh, if you have the time, that's awesome. But like I said, we're doing a cheat meal. So I'm just going to add some of these to that. So I'm going to take my pan here. I just, um, I just oiled it. And I'm going to put some in the bottom until I think that it's sufficient. I don't want to dump it all in there because I can actually freeze what's left over in this and use it in a different application later. And this here, I'm going to add some vegetables. So I'm not going to add the whole can because I don't need a whole can. I'm just going to add what I think gives it enough color and, you know, pop and flavor. I'm not going to overdo it. So I don't think that's quite enough. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I have here some black pepper. I'm going to add that, you know, pretty good amount. I'm not going to add salt because it is already kind of salty. And I'm going to add some Old Bay. I know that sounds weird, but remember chicken and Old Bay are good friends. And I'm literally going to add the tiniest bit of onion powder just to give it a hint of onion because I'm not putting any sauté onions in there. I'm going to mix her up. And truth be told, you don't even really have to add the extra spices. This chicken is already flavorful enough. Okay, so I'm going to level it out here. And then I'm going to take my puff pastry here, and I'm going to open up my sleeve. I'm going to lightly flour my surface here. I'm also going to flour my grandma's rolling pin. And I'm going to get out a sheet of puff pastry. It comes with two, but I'm only going to use one. And I'm going to use a little more flour on it because um, I want this to be thinned out a little bit. It doesn't quite fit my, my um, dish, so I want it to be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go one direction, and then I'm going to go the other direction. I want it to be even. One direction, and then the other direction. And then I'm going to turn it because I don't want it to stick. There's a ton of butter in this and stuff. I'm going to go one direction and one direction. Okay, now that I have that, yep, looks good to me. I'm going to set that aside and bring over my dish here. And this is where the egg wash comes into play. I'm actually going to take my egg wash and I'm going to just get the sides of the cooking vessel. 
doesn't have to be a lot, it's just got to be enough to help it stick to the side. And then I'm just going to take my puff pastry and lay it right over the top, like so. And then I'm just going to kind of smush it on the sides. I want it to stick, I'm going to stretch it over, stretch it over. So this little extra piece that hangs off, I'm actually just going to trim off the bottom part. Um, so that it doesn't completely touch the bottom. But I leave some because I think the puff pastry is the best part. I'm going to take some more egg wash and simply brush the top of the puff pastry. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Feel free to share my video on all of your social media and join me on mine. I'd love to see you there. And don't forget to check out my video on the original recipe of Oh My God Good Chicken. It's super rich, ridiculously easy, and I've literally never met anybody who didn't love it. The link for the video is in the description box below. Well, thanks for stopping by my house. I'll see you next time.